Arts. She's totally passionate about what she does, whether it's urban renewal projects or helping social housing or just the creation of this Canadian Centre for Architecture. There are few rare people like Phyllis that have that strength, that courage, that conviction. She assumes anybody who she's really dealing with is taking risks. She's looking for risk takers. She's very forceful, particularly in her ability to articulate issues and to speak her mind. She's an activist and she gets involved. There's so much that can be done and I think that we're at an extraordinary period of great freedom where we're breaking away from the traditional ideas of classical ideas of architecture. There's definitely a link between uh, Phyllis Lambert, the architect, and Phyllis Lambert, the citizen, activist, organization builder, and champion. The work she has done to preserve our heritage, Old Montreal, Ben Ezra Synagogue, the Biltmore, each of these has a powerful social component. This area was slated to be demolished and replaced by high-rise buildings, and I can tell you they're pretty shoddy. People who were very strong communitarians said, we can't let this happen. They came to save Heritage Montreal and said, can you help us save our neighborhood? It creates a texture on the street. It creates, of course, memory. It creates a place where children could grow up. The backyards, the back alleys were made into community areas. Phyllis is very demanding and demands the best out of everybody around her. And she demands the best from herself as well. Certainly. As an artist, as a child, I was learning to look. And then with the Seagram building, that was seeing that a project was done properly. But I was learning from that, and then I became a practitioner. I think you always have to have a very strong uh, understanding of what the medium, the, the, the very base of, of the work is. It really was a social cause as well put up a significant structure and show a new way of building cities and think about ways of sponsoring the work of the very best architects around. I think what it's done in Montreal is that we've introduced through Phyllis's initiatives a sort of freedom to think about design in adventurous terms. There is a Phyllis the person and her passion, there is Phyllis the street fighter, and then there's Phyllis the institution in the sense which becomes what the CCA will be in the future. People will say, who put this together? And they'll go back you know, and find out there was a lady by the name of Phyllis Lambert. But the spirit of education and improving the urban built environment, if we can do that, uh, whew, that's gonna last centuries. You know, it's so interesting in visual things. It's always very clear which one, because there's something about the form, there's something in the way that carries itself through. But I think that that comes from a lot of study and a lot of work. What did Michelangelo said? Don't let the blood show.